Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to Naruto Rashi with me and Don't Make Small My Own Today. Well, surrounded by heads, but they're they're technically not with me. Um, so yeah. Oh god, I've got so many things to show off, don't I? Well, it's really not that many things. It's actually not that very many things. It's it's just the uh. So I spent the last few days moving my stuff. Which, by the way, I didn't move everything I owned. I only moved most things. But yes, we're here in the Neo Shadow Village. Moved, um, okay, well, first of all, this isn't developed anymore. This is just now full of stuff. Like, I've got, I've grabbed, like, all my things. Apart from, like, I had several chests for those stone. I don't feel like I'm ever going to need, like, five diamond chests worth of stone. Um, there was the two diamond chests full of eggs. I don't feel like I'm going to ever need two diamond chests full of eggs. There's a diamond chest full of cactus. I don't feel like I'm ever going to need a diamond chest full of cactus. So I left most of that stuff behind, but I took a bunch of stuff with me. And I took, like, all the valuables and things. Um, also grabbed this section of my wall from my house, because I couldn't grab the whole house. I probably could have grabbed the whole house, but I didn't grab the whole house. Um, so people had questions on here. They're safe. Don't worry. I've got them. It's all right. Um, and obviously all the questions in there are safe. I also grabbed the school. I grabbed the schoolhouse, but it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> You know what? That's fine. I can deal with that. Um, the, the school's just facing this way from now on. And obviously the question said it as well. Um, other than that though, I've not been up to very much else. I've just been moving stuff before Zaro ends up destroying my village or my old one. Because let's face it, it was heading that way anyway. I feel like Zaro was going to eventually destroy it anyway. Also, look at my anvils I've got. This is my collection. This is what I've ended up with. Like, any anvil I picked up, I just shoved in here. Um, but yeah, I've got little, like... like all the stuff from all the different houses, all the, well, I suppose it's only really the workhouse and my main house add stuff, and then all the stuff from the underground, I've just shoved it all in this room. <laughs> There's so much stuff, like, look at all the diamond chests I've got, obviously I'll grab the witch cactus next. Um, all my witchery stuff, more witch, where is it, more witchery stuff. Um, just, there's so many things, there's so many beautiful things, I've not seen half this stuff in forever. But yeah, um, I need to do some serious upgrades though. But before we do anything else, uh, we have question of the day to do, don't we? Uh, so last time I asked the question, uh, what was your saddest moment in Naruto? Because Naruto's ending soon. Like, it's, it, I think it's confirmed date is the 29th of September, and it's going to be an hour-long special. There's going to be no filler. I feel like crying right now. It's beautiful. <laughs> Never thought I'd be able to say those words about Naruto. There's guaranteed no filler <laughs> in that hour. Um... And pretty much, I guess, and it's just going to be a big, long, massive fight between Sasuke and Naruto and then the ending afterwards, which is going to be freaking awesome. So I can't wait for that. It's going to be great. Um, sad the fact Naruto's going to be done after that, but you know, it's it's been a good show. It's been a good, it's been a good run. I finished the manga two years ago. I've had time to prepare for this. <laughs> well, this is just hitting you though. You're going to have a fun few days after that, or fun few weeks. Anyway, so um, for the saddest death, uh, the saddest moment in Naruto. Um, some of the ones that I picked out, some of the things I picked out. My death for obvious reasons, that was by Tachi the, the Swag Lord. I thought that was quite clever. <laughs> My death coming from Itachi, that was, that was actually quite beautiful. So yeah, Itachi's death. Quite um, quite an emotional thing. It was quite an emotional battle just getting to that point, but we never, like, we just saw Itachi as the bad guy, so we wanted him dead for the most part. Because like, this was Sasuke's whole drive in it. And then they just flipped a full 180 at the end, and it's like, oh no, Sa um, Itachi was actually a good guy all along. The Hidden Leaf is actually the bad guy here. Danzo's the bad guy. And it's like, oh, <laughs> now we feel bad. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, then we actually all love Itachi, which is kind of justified. It's like, it was actually like a secret hero you never realized all that time. Everything was done to just kind of push Sasuke forward and keep him safe. Um, other one I picked out, saddest moment is when Jiraiya died. He was my favorite character and he made it so emotional, I actually cried. That's why it's Scotch Gelzer, um, which... Yeah, that was kind of the other obvious one. Itachi and Jiraiya were the big ones. They were the they were the ones that really got to most people because they were two brilliant characters. Jiraiya's death, it was so freaking emotional. Like, it slowed down. He's under the water and he's just thinking back at all these decisions. Then you've got, you see, like, Naruto and you see Tanade and that. that and It's so sad. They make it such an emotional thing. I never cried at it, mind you. Like, the only anime that's got me close to tears has been... Um, Actually, I did cry a little bit for our Assassination Classroom, but that was my fault for binge-watching. I suppose if I binge-watched most of Naruto, which is impossible, um, at least in that kind of time frame, Assassination Classroom's like 47 episodes, Naruto's like several hundred. So, <laughs> bit of a different, like, it's kind of, well, actually, no, if you take the filler out, it's a lot, sh it's a lot shorter, but never mind. Um, no, I didn't, I honestly never expected Jiraiya to die, though, when it came to it. Like... I don't know, for most animes, you don't expect the major big characters to die like that. Like, Jiraiya was a big part of it. Like, I get, okay, 
Naruto, qu very quickly you learned people were going to die in it. Zabuza died. And that was another one that people said was quite sad. I was surprised so many people said that was sad. But it's like, I never really felt that sad for Zabuza. I felt sad for Haku, who like lived as a weapon his entire life and died for him. <laughs> now we get Zabuza, who didn't care until Naruto's um, words hit him. Um, so, yeah. that I don't know. I... I didn't think it as it like it was a, most deaths in Naruto said they make it so emotional they're so good at making it emotional now I never expected Jirai to die like the third Hokage died okay that's fair enough um all right you expect bad guys to die that's just the thing but like good guys you don't expect many very many of them to die third Hokage died okay he was a big important guy in the village but he never did a hell of a lot in the show until that last bit so it's like he died none of his were too too attached to him Jiraiya was there he was such a comical character he was such a brilliant character he was awesome it, it made the whole Purvey Sage thing a thing, and it was... Oh, I think it was so sad. But no, um, I think, for me, they, they probably weren't even my saddest moments. The saddest moments for Naruto, for me, are like the realization moments. Where, like, I was in the middle of Shippuden, and I realized that, okay, Sasuke's evil at this point. And I'm just sitting there thinking, like, we're never going to see them, like, Team 7, like the way we used to in Naruto originally, like, they used to be a team, they used to be funny together, Sasuke used to have, like, some emotion to him, other than revenge and everything. <laughs> when the realization hit me, that, like, we've lost that kid Sasuke forever, which, okay, he was a bit of an ass, but he was a brilliant character, that actually made me quite sad, because I'm like, we're never going to see stuff like that, again. we're never going to see, like, the cool Sasuke that we actually like so much, we've seen, okay, fair enough, the new Sasuke's awesome, but he's a he's an even bigger dick. Um, I said that actually hit me harder than Jiraiya's death. <laughs> Just realizations about these things. Um, just that there's no going back. That these the characters' development has pushed forward to this point where their old characters pretty much did. Kind of what terrifies me about the new Ruby series coming out um, next month. Because <laughs> character development has changed Ruby completely as well. Anyway, I should probably move on. Because um, I could sit the entire episode and talk about sad stuff like this. Or sad moments and realization and stuff. But anyway, um, so we need a new question of the day, and I think I'm going to go for, I did this on Fairy Tale just recently, um, the question is, how did you end up watching Naruto? How did, how did it end up coming to be that you ended up on the road of watching Naruto all the time? How did it become just this anime that you absolutely adored? Like, what, what was it that just got you into it? Was a friend that told you? Did you find it randomly? Did you, um... Did you end up on it by accident? Was there, is there some kind of funny story behind it? Was there some kind of tale? I don't know. Let's let's hear it. Let's hear your reasoning behind why you're why you end up watching Naruto, how you ended up here. Um and now we need to do stuff. So I have oh yeah, I found my cloak by the way. <laughs> I can't still even wear it. Like if I put it on, it's the hood goes up and I don't want the hood up. Like, if the hood would go down, that'd be fine. I think the hood will go down if I wear actually that won't work. Um I need I need a helmet. Where's my hel where's a helmet? There's a helmet. If I put this helmet on, the hood goes down. But like, yeah, it does, it goes back up if as soon as I put the glasses on. It doesn't count the glasses as like a full hood. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't count it as like a full helmet, which is quite annoying because I don't like it like this. Um, let's, where can I put the hood? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, stand. Um, yeah, I can make one of these. Oh god, I'm in cheat mode. Okay, never mind. Oops. Can I can I delete this? Is that a thing? No, I can't. Okay, hold on. I forgot I'm in cheat mode because I was on um what's it called? I was on Naruto um Naruto Freedom, the public server. And I was trying to figure out how like enchants and stuff work on this because I wanted to try doing the enchants off this to make basically unbreakable chest plates for people to wear for like in ninja villages, but that just was not to be, so <laughs> Um, there are no completely unbreakable chest splits, sadly, because I couldn't put unbreaking a thousand on them. I think Zara tried to work something out. Um, also, I'm getting a ton of messages from Skype. I think Pat and everyone's alive now. Okay, for this, I need three slabs, two sticks, and two wooden fences. Right. Now I have to try and figure out where everything is. <laughs> oh, that's some fun. Alright, there's tons of wood in here. This'll do, actually. Um... That's jungle wood. I, I want to make oak wood. Actually, no, it doesn't matter which color I use, because that's silver wood, no. Um, birch wood. I guess it's going to take a while to readjust and get everything back in shape, because like, it, it, things have gone a bit mad here, just because there's so much stuff everywhere, and everything's kind of all over the place. Also, can I just... I'll make two of them, sure. Boop, boop. 
Oh, yeah, I put my good wood in here. Um, let's put that there, that there. Cloak on. No. No. Cloak on. There we are. Um, hold on. Okay. Oh, that does work. Quite nice, actually. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just doing up armor right now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm far too amused by easy things. All right. Well, anyway, um, now that we're here... Now that we're here and everything is here, um, or everything I need is here, I now kind of need to get to work and like fixing everything up because like obviously I need to do the dirt and stuff here. I may put the door around this side and switch the classroom around. Um, I need a new place to stay. That's another thing because I don't I don't actually have a house. Um, and you see, also I don't have any of my stuff in my inventory. Hold on, let's just shovel. Where is it? Put that in there. Um, I put all my inventory stuff in here. Yes, so there we are. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we are. Got, got my things back. I, I, I can't run around with it, all my things. I'm probably never going to need half of this episode, but never mind. Um, you never know. Also, hold on. I can ditch those two small bags now. I've got I've got four big bags on me right now. <laughs> I had four big bags of two small bags running around getting stuff. It was a pain in the backside moving so much stuff. What's worse is that I was uploading while I was doing it, so I was lagging at the same time. That, that was fun. Right. Um... Hold on, where's what building materials I got? I got tons of great wood, tons of oak wood, tons of stone brick. I feel there's a theme coming on here. Definitely feel there's a theme going on here. Right, then I Oh no. No 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 no. That's not what I it's not what I wanted at all. Yeah. Screw it, that'll do. Um Right, I need a new house. I need a new house. That could, that I can live in. Um, where do I want to make it? Where do I want to make it? Also, I need to start working on the Boots of the Traveler again, because, hold on, can I? Boots of the Traveler, how do I get them? Like, I'm guessing there is a process. It doesn't actually tell me. Okay, so it's some kind of weird thumb crafty process to get them. And I haven't got it unlocked in the book yet, so I can't see for myself. Where am I at my Vectra abilities? I'm not that far in, okay. I've already got that unlocked. Um, that's level five. Oh yeah, but, okay. I've got everything I can get with that. I'm not getting anything else out of that for a while, um, because I updated to the newer version of um, Academy Craft, but it's it's still too long. Oh, it's not too long a process to level up. Now. It's a lot shorter, but it's still like it's it's too long just to get done straight away because lasers require hitting things. Um, I may build my house here. I may actually just build it on this ledge bit here. Maybe. Oh, I need dart then. I need dart. Also, I should stop leaping with these boots on. They're not the best of boots for leaping to end up over springing it every single time. Uh, let's get it. I need to put signs on the front of these. Definitely. Okay, brothers just went downstairs like a battle of hell. Uh, boop, boop. Da, 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 da. I probably should just move my old house over, but you know what? It's fine. I'm just looking forward to the part where Zoro comes to invade my village. Cause he's asked me, like, where's your new village? I'm like, I'm not telling you. You can come hunt for it. <laughs> You can come look for it, Zara. I'm not telling you where it is. You can come look for it. He has no clue where this village is. I've tried my best not to leave any tips or any hints on the um any of the videos. Like, I'm trying to my hardest to hide the coordinates just so he doesn't see it. Because I don't want him to find it yet. I want him to actually like have to look for it or at least to wait until I'm ready. Because if he invades right now and he comes at me full strength, I feel like Zoro has a fairly good chance of beating me straight up in a fight. Just because he's got, he's maxed out all of his health, so he's got 100 and something health, and Vector's pretty damn strong. <laughs> like anyone who's played Naruto Freedom at this point and is a Vector, you'll know yourself, it's a pretty damn strong ability he's like in there. Like his spirit bomb aside, his moves tear you apart. And honestly, a Laser Master, a Meltdowner like myself, I don't compare. I honestly would be better with the Electro Master to fight him because Electro Master has a much longer range to it. The lasers are only kind of, they're mostly short range to us, like if you if you fire it. If, if I could see the particle if I fell on. Yeah, like it's got a fair distance behind it. But the Electro Master, I feel like it's just got a bit more. Also, I just killed a poor cow. I, I should have captured that cow, that was sad. Why did I do that? Oh, I'm a terrible person now. Who am I kind of? I've been a terrible person for years. Um, I've been capturing animals and toying with them, creating mad, uh, bloodthirsty, um, crazed, bloodthirsty, whatchamacallits? What are they called? C crazy rainbows, they were. 
bloodthirsty horses that uh, want to eat you. Yeah, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow's a terrifying force of nature. Um, right, house, house, house. I don't know how I want to design this. See, a art of freedom, I built a house with Pat, and okay, we tried our best, we got a house. Then Hinata Yuga from our village came along and she like just tore it down and rebuilt it and it looks like 10 times better and now I don't know what to do because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to do a crap job. Now hold on, how does it, how does it look using this stuff? I don't feel like that's the best option. Actually, it's not the worst option. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with this theme. Um, we're gonna go with this. And can I put? Can I just put like wood? Not like that. Oh, actually, hold on. I need to go like that. Can I just have a floor like this? Can that be a thing? I feel like that should be a thing. I'm just gonna have a floor like this. I'm gonna have an actual full wooden floor, which is a massive waste of wood. But you know what? I don't even care. Um, we are so doing this. Also, can we just? I'm just gonna tie this. I can't, I really can't, oh, I could make this part of my wall, hold on. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could just make this a very small extension. Um, it just leads into this one room that is just, it's a few, it's a few signs that I've kept. I feel like I'm okay with that, I'll actually do that, I'll keep that, I'll actually build this onto the house, um, just to make it part of the, part of the structure. Screw it, we're doing that. Um, that'll be fine. Also, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. We say door, door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then, great wood, great wood. And then we pull this down. There we go. Perfecto. Um, yes, can I take a while. Also, I don't. By the looks things, the house isn't going to be very big, that's for sure. <laughs> Actually, I could just get more dirt. I've got tons of dirt lying all over the place. I just, I'm going to extend this out as far as I can go over towards the water, and then just we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, hard to believe episode, what is this, 50... Episode, this is 52? 53? Oh god, I can't even remember starting to remember what episode Naruto I'm on. Hold on. I must look this up. Uh, we are on episode 53. Episode 53, I'm building my house for the first time again. <laughs> That's that. So your village gets destroyed, and then there's taint taking it over, and it gets turned into some weird red thing. I, you know, you kind of want to move after a while. It's just one of those. It's just a natural reaction. You just want to move. So, rather than fighting for that village that I don't care enough about, I'd rather just build a new village and care about it more. Because Sorrow was it gonna stop? <laughs> He fully plans to invade me, which is why I need to max out my heart. So what's my hearts can do? What's my what's my sub right now? I have got max red hearts. Okay, I have max red hearts. Um, I am on. I've got two full rows and two extra hearts. So the red hearts give me one full row, and I've got twelve extra hearts from the Zelda mod. Then I gain another ten. I gain another full row of hearts when I go werewolf form. But Will form, I don't know if I want to use on Zaro because I could, and arguably it's the best move because it will damage his armor a lot more and wear him down. But he can rip my insides out. Just throwing that out there. He can rip my insides out, which when he does that, it does a lot more damage than what I'm really capable of doing. So, yeah. This, this isn't going to be an easy fight. On top of that, Zaro plans on, like, invading me with his crazy um creations like some of them are pretty damn strong like his lancer was nothing to sneeze at like obviously i beat him and i beat i beat all of his things but a lot of the time it's i use enhancements like i use a golden apple or something and that that gives me that extra like boost that i need to get through the fight so i mean i don't know i don't know how much i can do that against sorrow because <laughs> he'll see he'll see me doing it and he'll plan accordingly from there because he'll see i'm like eating a golden apple so at that point, he knows he just has to buy time, and I'll run it of the effect because it's only thirty seconds out of regen. Then I've got a little bit of resistance and stuff. Also, can you get out of here? Get out of here. There we go. Uh, I'm looking forward to this fight, Uzar. Whenever it happens, like I'm not saying this is gonna be like the final fight or something, but it's like it's it. There is a fight coming between me and him at some point, or because he's doing all these invasions. So now he'll run out of his pawns, and he'll need to fight me himself. Like, all good leaders should. Like, I fought against everyone. 
as Fire Lord Joker. Or, well, no, not as Fire Lord Joker, sorry. I fought against everyone as myself after revealing that I secretly was the big bad guy all along. <laughs> so, yeah. Leaders are gonna head to the field at some point. So why am I... I suppose I made this a full extension. I mean, I'm running out of room for sign of the day anyway. I'm gonna have to, like, redesign the entire building. Look at that. That was all Zarl's doing. That was Zarl's doing when he flung his frickin' spirit bomb between that building and the workhouse. And he shredded the side of both buildings. And it's all wrecked now. God damn it, Zarl. Um, let's just shove, shove that there. Boop. Right. I wonder, though, how much, how much, go right, how much gold do I have? How much gold do I have? Because depending on the answer to that, it'll depend on how much. All right, I've got not a lot. I'm going to quickly see what I can do with my gold. Because if I can make a few golden apples and maybe potentially... There's a gold apple there. Um, ooh. I may be better... All right, okay, this is the gamble. Um, I'm thinking I need golden apples. I don't know where I'd be make, better making lucky blocks to get stuff. But I suppose with lucky blocks, I'm going to get everything but apples. I mean, golden apples. There's one lucky block in there, actually. I mean, gold-wise, I've not got that much gold. Mm. I don't suppose there's equivalent exchanges. There is equivalent exchange, actually. Hold the phone. I can make gold. Also, recite. What, what are the ways of making gold? Um, we can use all that. We can smell a native gold cluster. Gold ore, yeah. There's the metal former, which will give me double gold, but that's whatever. It's a casting table. Okay, there's not much. There's not many other ways to make gold, is there? I'm going to have to go on a gold hunt. That's the only way. I'm going to have to go actually go and hunt for gold someday, because I, I need to max out my hearts. I need to go and clear Zelda dungeons as well, which I don't have any marked anymore, sadly, so I don't know where any are. But I'm in a newer land. Like, I, I think Emil has been around these parts at some point, but I think it's fairly new, so most dungeons I find around here are probably going to be un, like untouched. So yeah, I feel like, you know, I can definitely go clear some dungeons out. That'll be... It's definitely doable. Also, I can't put that down. If I put that down, it doesn't work. Um, oh, how many out is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're going ten out this way. Going ten out this way, because that's, that's how that wall works. Um, it's in line with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we want... Yeah, like that. I'll put one at the end of this too. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this house. <laughs> I'm just going to design something, guys, alright? I'm just going to design something and we're just going to roll with it, regardless of what it looks like. Regardless of what it looks like, we're just going to roll with it, alright? Because things I make are never that pretty, but you know what? I make them at least. At least at least I go out and I do it. That's, that's what matters in the end of the day. <laughs> oh god, corner. I'm just I'm, I'm just working with all the corners right now. I'm going with the natural shape that is the what I created. Cause this isn't actually natural. I put all the dirt down for this. This this isn't natural at all. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna to, I'll make a lot of this house off camera. I'm not gonna make all of it on camera, but you know what? Sometimes I just need to do little episodes where I'm doing stuff like this. I'm gonna to do an episode where I just go out and hunt for stuff. I think because I need to find those underwater dungeons and get all the gold. Because if I don't get gold apples, then I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble when it comes to things. Oh, I know this. Like, I'm not going to play like a fool to this. Zoro has a clear advantage when it comes to setup. He... I'm not sure... Mm. I mean, his vector abilities are good. But he doesn't have anything long range. Other than the Spirit Bomb. Which he won't use in a lot of situations. Because he doesn't... Like... We're not meant to be destroying everything. I suppose he may use one. And like, try and not hit everything. It may destroy some stuff. But if I'm at his tower... If I take the fight to his tower... He can he can launch the spirit bomb there, or he can, but he'll have to destroy his own tower to do it. And at that point, I'll feel like I've won. <laughs> Even if I die in that process, I feel like I'll have won at that point, because he spent a long time building that tower, and if he just wrecks it, that'll just be a funny situation for me all around, because then I, I technically still win. <laughs> Screw him, I still win if he does that, <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm completely okay with that also. Um... I'm going to need to go in line with this, and there we go. And if that's just filling, okay, so this is our odd-shaped house. 
into the shape I'm going for. I mean, actually, I'll build an extension that goes, like, down around these bits, too. Like, a bit going down here. And I'll just, like, I'll build, like, an area that goes downstairs and stuff. I'm gonna, I'll make it bigger than this. Um, and then fill it up a wee bit. And I'll have a house once again. I'll have a Kagi. I'll have a Kagi hut once more. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, well, our house is going there. Uh, which, that has now became part of the house. We've got our sign place. We've got our workplace. We've got the school. Then I just have to make random huts and start actually putting NPCs in here so I have a village. Which I think would be beautiful. Because I, I haven't put NPCs down this entire time. And Zara doesn't know where this is yet, so I feel safe putting NPCs down for once. Because he won't, he won't kill them straight away. And as long as I'm not in the server when Zaro joins, he can't TP to me. And then he can't find this place. So. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn. He's going to find this place sooner or later. I just need to prepare myself for when that day comes. Like, I, I've just, I've just kind of ran away for a bit. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all very much for watching. So, it's, just, it's been just a nice little relaxing episode about building in the new Shadow Village. And just about talking, about plans. Um, we know the stuff that Zaro's to come. We know it's to come. I need to prepare best I can. So, I feel like I'll need to kick up my um, Thumbcraft a bit and get the Boots of the Traveler done. Um... I'll definitely need to kick up my witchery more because if I'm going to fight Zoro, I'm going to want pop um, poppets. Because an anti-death poppet, yes. I have Zoro's blood. I can definitely put poppets on him. Um, so we can definitely do that. Bibliocraft and stuff. I don't know how much good stuff's in Bibliocraft. I probably will keep looking into it, but I don't know like what great stuff's in it. Blood magic. I kind of want the blood armor. So I'm going to try and get that. I'm going to try and advance forward. That's like I'm still pushing forward with this stuff. Like It's just... It's, been a bit of a braver, you know, I moved away from it for a bit, doing this stuff. No, I'm going back to it at some point. Now that I've got a big open field, I don't have to worry about people nicking my things for a bit. I can just build up most of my stuff out here and just go for it. So, yeah, let's do this. Anyway, um, show a like if you enjoyed the show. Show some support for this series. It does actually mean a lot. I know I say this quite a lot, but it does actually mean a lot. Like, we YouTubers, we do love it when we get likes on the videos. You know, some people might not think we actually care. We do actually care. Um... Just, it just it just shows people are still enjoying the series. Um, other than that, quick reminder, question of the day is... What was the question of the day? Oh, that's right. Um, How you got into Naruto? How did you find it? What was your story behind finding Naruto? I did this on Fairytale. And it's quite a nice question to ask. Like, because some people have stories behind it. Some people don't so much. So it's like, how did you end up here? How did you end up addicted to, how did you end up addicted to Naruto? How did this happen? How did you end up... In this long road of supporting it for all this time. Um, let's hear in the comment section down below. Other than that though, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next time where we'll do something else. I don't, I haven't got any plans for what yet. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think I should do next. Like, do you want to see me do more building? Do you want to see me go out and look for stuff? Do you want to see me like just advance forward in my different arts? Let me hear what you guys want, um, want me to see me doing. Because all these doors are open. I need to do all of them. So, you know, I'd rather, if, if you would rather see a certain one at a certain time, I'll start showing that one more than the other stuff. Um, and keep doing other stuff off camera. Anyway, once again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, everybody.